What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby and If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part four of our series of rig rundowns and what I actually use while diving. Now today we're going to be talking about computers. I've got a slew of them over here and I've even got a couple of dive watches. Yes, I'm an old school diver who still believes in wearing dive watches and I've got two very special dive watches that are near and dear to my heart that I try to wear on just about every dive that I can. One was actually given to me by a mentor and then of course the other one I purchased as well. But we're going to take a quick look at the computer systems that I'm currently using for 2022 and I'll kind of explain why I like to use them. Now once again this is nowhere near all the dive computer systems that I own but these are just the ones I'm currently using in 2022. I've been very blessed to be in this industry for a very long time and I've amassed a, t a lot of gear over the years and I've sold most of the major manufacturers as well at previous shops I've worked for. So I have a lot of dive computers in storage but these are the ones that I'm currently using for 2022. So with that being said, let's go over here to the table and we'll take a look at my current 2022 dive computers. So guys, this is going to be a really quick rig rundown. As you can see, there's not that many here, although I've got some repeats and we're going to talk about the dive watches in a minute because these are very near and dear to my heart and I really enjoy diving with them as well. But what I don't have included here are the pressure gauges that I use. I actually included that in the regulator video. So if you haven't checked it out, check out the link below or I'll try to link it up here for you. You can actually see the gauges. But I do want to talk about two of these computers in specific simply because they are both air integrated computers, but I'm only using using one in air integrated mode and I'll talk about specifically why I do that. But I will start with the compass. The current compass that I'm using is the Mares XR compass and I really like how well built this compass is. The bezel on it doesn't just turn. I mean you really have to turn it which makes it very easy not to snag on things if you will. You know if you brush your arm up against something the bezel can turn. This one you actually have to mean to turn it. So I really like the heavy dutiness. It does have the bungee strap which is a depth compensating strap on it. I really like that as well. In a situation where I'm in a dry suit, say with dry gloves here, I got a set of dry gloves. Sometimes it is hard to get that bungee strap over the cuff or over the ring system of the dry gloves. So with the bungee, I can actually mount it to my hand and it makes it very convenient as well. Other than that, of course, I'll typically mount it on my right arm and it typically goes right below my computer of choice. Now, my first computer of choice is the Mares Quad Air. Now, this is the SSI Pro version. I talked about in our last video how each year when SSI's Pros renew, we get a special buy-in and this was the special buy-in from a few years ago. Um, I have modified this computer slightly. It did come with standard watch straps which are big long watch straps designed for both wetsuits and dry suits. I took the watch straps off and I have installed bungees. Actually I made a video on how to do that for you too. I'll try to find that video and link it down below if you're interested in doing that. Now what I really like about this computer is it is an air integrated computer but you'll see that NP. That NP stands for not paired. I simply do not pair this with transmitters and let me explain why. If you saw our last video or the last series of videos we've done, you'll see I've got a slew of different rigs that I use for very specific purpose. And with the exception of one of those rigs, I use this computer for every rig that I use. And I simply do not want to have to go out and buy transmitters for every single one of those rigs. So it makes it very easy just to simply use a pressure gauge on all the rigs and simply leave the computer not paired. Another little cool fun fact about that is when you don't pair it to a transmitter, your battery lasts twice as long as well. But I like the computer. It does have four buttons. I know a lot of divers don't like four button computers because they can be confusing. However, the cool thing about this system, they are mirrored. So underwater, these two buttons do the same thing that these two buttons here do. So if you're wearing it on your right wrist, you've only got two buttons to worry about. If you wear it on your left wrist, you've only got two buttons to wear to worry about. So I really, really like that. Now let's move over to my dive watches. You'll know I have two identical dive watches. And if you are a Citizens fans, you will automatically know exactly what these are. This is the 20th anniversary Citizens Aqualand and these are eco drive watches that means they're simply powered by light so the light that I've got up top here is simply powering these and for about a one minute of light with regardless of the source you're going to have about a week's worth of power now obviously these stay on my wrist all the time so I get about six months use out of these simply from a one day charge and that's just simply wearing it out and about so I never have to replace batteries in this but what I really really like about this these are true divers watches if you look here on the left, you'll see there is an analog depth gauge. I also have a digital depth gauge. They do have a logbook. It's got a 20 log logbook built into the system. So it'll log actually 20 dives and then it'll rewrite
right over itself, so it makes it very, very convenient. And let me talk about why I like dive watches in general. I think it's a great backup to any computer system. If your computer goes down, battery dies or whatnot, then of course your dive watch is going to log whatever it is. If you've got a watch that's got the bezel, like a, a typical diver's watch, then you can still log your time underwater. But the fact that these have both an analog and a digital depth gauge built in, they are absolutely perfect. This one here actually originally came on a black strap just like this one did. It was actually purchased by one of my mentors when I was growing up and right after these came out on the market and I've had it ever since. Now you will notice that it's got a little bit of condensation in it. That's because, well guys, I live on a farm. I work on a farm when I'm not at the shop and this this guy actually gets beat and banged up. This is a relatively not new to, well, it's new to me, but not new. This one's been around for a, probably about 15 years now. And I recently picked it up as a backup to this. I'm actually going to be giving this to my daughter as a gift. And then when my youngest daughter gets certified, I'll actually be giving her that. So if anybody knows where I can find another 20th anniversary Citizens Aqualand, let me know down in the comment section below because I'll buy it in a heartbeat. I actually love these watches. And underneath, I've actually got a NATO strap too. In some of our videos, you'll probably see me wearing a NATO strap. A lot of times in the wintertime, since I do wear these watches all the time as dive watches and as a backup computer system as well, if I'm diving a dry suit, I'll actually put the NATO strap on because it's a little bit longer than what these are. Of course, they are both equipped with the Sunto uh, Clipper compasses. I absolutely love these compasses. I've talked about these in previous videos as well. But moving on, I have the Marias Puck Pro Air Integrated Dive Computer. And I showed you this in the previous video. This is what I have on my public safety rig. Now, unfortunately, these computer systems are discontinued, but I do want to talk about why I use it for public safety diving. In the past, I've talked about having a simple unit that you can just simply put it on in a rescue scenario not a recovery in rescue scenarios typically we are in a quick deploy situation as you can see there's still mud from our last mission but we are in a quick deploy situation where I just have to throw stuff on. And if I'm going from street clothes to a dry suit to my equipment, I do not have time to strap one of these on. I do not have time to put that on my wrist. With this already pre-attached to my regulator that I use for public safety diving, it's great. It's got everything I need. It's got a compass. It's got depth. It's got pressure. It's got everything. Plus, at the end of the dive, I can download one system. I don't have to sit here and download multiple systems. I have one system to download, and it makes recording dives for investigative purposes or whatnot. Very, very simple. I simply print those dives off and away I go. But that's it, guys. That is my personal computer systems that I'm using for 2022. I do want to state that, yes, I do use these as backup computers, even though they are not computers. They do have logbooks. They do have depth alarms. I can set it up for time alarms and depth alarms, so I do not go deeper than what I need to. They do have a scent a rate alarms, too, which is really, really cool. But the reason I use these, if you're an old school diver like me and you trained on the tables, you will understand most agencies will give you unlimited bottom time at certain depths. Whatever your table stay, you can kind of see it on there, but you do get unlimited bottom time as far as no decompression. And so these work really good, especially if I'm teaching, say, an open water course. I'm not going any deeper than about 20 feet. But in all honesty, if I'm not going any deeper than 35 feet, a lot of times I won't even strap a computer on. I simply dive with these. I've got a pressure gauge, I've got a depth gauge, and I've got a bottom timer, and that's really all I need. But guys, that's it. I really enjoy these computers. That's what I'm currently using. Maybe one day I'll make a video of my private museum here of all the diving gear that I've got over the years and that I don't use, but these are my current computer systems that I'm using for 2022. All right, guys, that's it for my 2022 rig rundown dive computer uh, video. If you got any comments or questions on these systems, let me know down in the comment what your question is. I'll try my best to answer it the best I can and as quickly as I can. Let me also know down in the comments what you personally use a dive computer and why you like it better than any other system out there. And I do want to say, guys, if you can find me another Citizens Aqualand 20th anniversary, whether it's an Imperial or the metric system, whether it's got the black band, the orange band, or even the titanium band, the version they made. Drop me a comment down where I can find it and I'll definitely try to pick that up. I'm always in the market for another one of those. I absolutely love those dive watches. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely stay tuned. I've got masks and snorkels coming up. I've got dive accessories coming up and I've also got my personal exposure systems coming up as well. So stay tuned for that because I really appreciate you watching today's video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.